Hi Libra, what's up? Welcome to your reading. You are starting the week with the overall energy of the Nine of Cups in reverse. Someone's not happy. And your challenge of the week is the Justice in reverse. Okay. Okay. Let's see. So what I see is that there is someone out here who's unhappy. Try for the Nine of Cups in reverse is the overall energy. Someone's emotionally drained. There's someone who's isolated themselves. This is a very strong partnership that I see out here. Okay. And this person out here is hoping for a reconciliation with her. I feel this person out here, um, they have a very strong feeling that you have moved on. Okay, I feel this person feels that you're just not interested in them anymore. All right, and they feel that you've moved on or this reconciliation is impossible, but they do want to, want to consider the, reconsider the fact of getting back together. Uh, they could be uh, trying to speak to other people, just trying to distract themselves. But I feel that overall there's a lot of thinking, a lot of isolation, a lot of introspection that's going on behind the scenes. Okay, this person out here may try to show other people that they're okay on their own. You know, they don't need anyone. Maybe they're telling their friends that they're okay without you and they don't need you and they're doing fine. But deep down, that's all just, they're, they're just putting up a show. Because they're, because they're very arrogant. There's a lot of ego coming from their side. Okay. You know, like that ego, that superiority complex. Like, I'm not going to let um, um, Libra know that I'm not okay without them. That's a visual space. Why is this a challenge? Your challenge out here is to make a, 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 a very, very final decision out here. Because there's something out here which is hidden from you. Now, this could be something where you are assuming, okay, the worst outcome out here. But something needs to let go. Someone out here needs to open up. Someone out here needs to make a final decision. And I feel that's you. Your challenge out here is not to think emotionally. Okay. You are thinking too emotionally. You are okay on your own with the Nine of Pentacles out here. Alright, you need to make a decision that makes you happy. You need to make a decision that is fair for you and not drag on and hold on to a situation which is imbalanced. I think the doubt that you have, right? Because everything is a question mark out here, you are not being able to release this thing or release this situation, which is not worth it. You need to be in your power. You need to be in that independent zone that you are, alright? You need to be focusing on you. That's the biggest challenge out here, alright? And because you need, you're not focusing on you, you are uh, not being able to make that bold decision that you're supposed to. What happened in the past? Okay, I do feel in the past out here, there is someone who had a big realization that they wanted to work things out with you. Unfortunately, I feel you were dealing with a player or you were dealing with uh, someone who is non-committal. Five of swords in the verse. What's the five of swords in the verse? Yeah, you entered the cycle and you walked away, okay? You put your foot down. I feel you finally put your foot down and you let go of someone out here who was playing a lot of mind games with you. You were fed up of the negative communication. Although there was a collaboration or teamwork, okay, or you wanted this teamwork with this person out here, or you guys were even trying to know each other, is what I'm getting. Now, for some of you, I'm getting that finances could be a problem between you both. For the others of you, other people's opinion, okay, could be a hindrance. But overall, you were dealing with someone else. Okay, the king of wands and the Yeah, like I said, non pivotal person, okay, who just wasn't taking action. <coughs> I think this person out here wasn't even communicating with you. They were not giving you 100% clarity on where the direct, where the connection was headed. Which is why you just had to put your foot down, alright? You, you created boundaries. I feel this person out here refused to give you structure, refused to give you the stability that you deserved or the stability that you wanted, okay, in order for this relationship to flow smoothly. So even though there was some kind of teamwork and collaboration, it didn't go on to the next level is what I'm getting. 
okay which is why you have to walk away yeah very laid back person out here and uh, they never took any action that's the kind of thing yeah I feel for a lot of you, there is someone out here who you left out in the past, who's feeling very lonely and isolated, and they want to come back around with a new start. There is a potential of a new start out here, but I don't see this person being able to gather the courage yet uh, to get out of that depression. I feel this person out here feels they're not enough. All right, they feel uh, they're not enough. They don't have enough to give you, or you're, they're just not good enough for you. But they do see you as marriage material. All right. Uh, clap for the queen of five of pentacles. Clap for the five of pentacles. Hmm. Something ended badly between you both. This person out here is at a crossroads. They want forward movement, but they're still in two minds about here, about approaching you. They don't want to approach you. They don't want to take things forward with you. They're very hellbent on having success with you. But it's the uh, lack feeling. It's that uh, motivation that this person needs, okay? Like it's okay, it's all going to be all right. It's that one move that they need to make. The potential of a new beginning is right here. They realize their mistake. They realize that you are the one for them. They realize the one that you are a marriage material, all right? And they realize that they want to nurture this connection and how nurturing you've been and you've given them their all, all right? They realize your value now. But because of this uh, depression or because of this sadness, right, they're not being able to, able to recover. They're lacking the willpower to come towards you and, uh, you know, make it happen. It is very possible to make it happen. It is very possible to salvage this connection between you both. Even though I do see that there's an ending out here. But the, but the uh, connection can be reborn only if the initiate, initiative is taken by this person out here. That's what's happening out here. They're too depressed. Okay, they're still crying over spilt milk, and apart, most of it is all because of that lack. Okay, that scarcity that they feel within them. That you know what, I'm never getting a chance again. Maybe you deserve more. Is what they say. Uh, in the future, we have the Seven of Cups in reverse, the Temperance in reverse, and the Judgment. What's this judgment about? Okay, what's the uh, judgment? No, what's the Seven of Cups in reverse actually? Is this clarity or is this even more confusion? What's the Seven of Cups in reverse? Hmm. Someone out here uh, finally has made a decision, okay? This person out here in the future finally knows that they choose you, alright? And I feel that this person out here is getting very impatient. They're coming in. I feel they're coming in with a quick fix, alright? If they had options, they don't want the options anymore. They know what they want and they know who they want. So I feel this person out here has now made a choice and they know that they want you. So like I said, if they have choices and options, they are very clear about the option that they want and which is you. Now for the others of you, there was a lot of confusion. This person was very confused about committing to you or confused about what they wanted with you in this relationship. They're sure about it. And they want to commit to you, all right? And they feel a very strong twin flame soulmate connection to you. However, I don't see them communicating that with you as yet. I feel they're still trying to manipulate you, still trying to hold on, still trying to wait for you to reach out to them, is what I'm getting. Although they're getting very impatient. What's the judgment? They're getting very impatient. What's the judgment? Yeah, they want a second chance with you. All right, this this time around here with the higher friend and six of pentacles, I feel this person out here wants uh, something to do with long term commitment or marriage, and they're ready to put in balance out here. I feel they're ready to invest into this connection and give you what you deserve, the love and attention that you deserve. They're ready to balance it out. Okay, there's a lot of balance, peace, harmony that they're wanting. Okay, with the second chance, with the judgment out here. However, like. Uh, I do feel this person out here will come out of isolation and finally talk to you about it. But you know, with the nine of cups in reverse, as I told you, as that overall energy, I feel this person out here is uh, very restless, very restless. Okay, this person out here, no matter how badly they want it with you, 
okay they're still not being able to communicate like i told you with the hermit of the overall energy they're still thinking 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 they know what they want two of cups three of cups they not only love you but they want to celebrate with you all right they want to reconcile with you but it's that hermit energy where they feel the need to withdraw themselves where they feel the need to think a little more you're on their mind at 24 7 okay but they are still not being able to find the courage, the courage and uh, gather the strength, be brave enough to approach you and like, you know what, like, hey, let's just get back. I want to reconcile with you. Like I said, they're losing patience right now only if they were a little more patient because you're not talking to them, which is driving them nuts. They're watching you from a distance. All right, still trying to overanalyze and overthink about the situation right now, but they're still not communicating. They're thinking very emotionally. They're still making a very, uh, they're, they're choosing their emotions. The emotions are more about ego. If they chose their logic, they would have known of making a more non-biased decision. So they're still making a biased decision where they want to still wait it out a little more in hopes that you will reach out to them and they don't have to uh, be the one to reach out and uh, where their ego could be compromised is what I'm getting out here. But eventually, I do feel that they will reach out to you and they will want a second chance with you. They're too restless. Uh, what's the first source in reverse? They're too restless. There's a, almost like a mental breakdown is what I'm getting. Yeah, see? They're holding back. They're holding back. Like I said, they're holding back big time. It's like they're just trying to convince themselves that they don't, uh, like, it's all right, you know. Um, they don't have to come towards you it's going to be okay they'll move on you will move on and everything's going to be all right but this is a strategy where they're trying their best to hold back that temptation of reaching out to you they're absolutely making a fool out of you but behind the scenes with the temperance in reverse here oh my god they're going nuts they are losing their shit over you they're so unhappy without you emotionally drained distressed you know they try to fulfill themselves with materialistic things, with uh, distracting, them, distracting themselves, getting attention from people that they don't even care about, but it's just not filling that void. And what you give them, they know that no one compares to you, which is why they're making that decision. They're changing. Mm. This is quite a stubborn person out here, okay? But you're breaking their ego, you're breaking their arrogance, and they're hating it. They hate that you change them. And they hate that they love you. So that's what I have for you. Hope this video resonates. And uh, do leave your comments, lecture, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.